we're going on the hunt for the tiramisu latte in London. There's a coffee shop that does tiramisu like coffees and hot chocolates and lattes and we're gonna go and try it out. I also thought I'd take you for a little mooch around this area of London. So I'm currently near Bond Street station. This area of London right now is quite busy. It's a Wednesday around one o'clock. Lots of like walking tours but the sun is shining and there's so much to see and do and I've got a cute little route planned around this area to point out some of my favourite places but first we need to find that tiramisu latte so let's get going. I'm gonna head to Oxford Street. She stumbled upon the cutest pub. I've never seen this pub before, the Mason's Arms. It's down Maddox Street. So nice. Okay, we're heading straight past all the chains. There's no need to do a chain in London when there's so many small businesses and delicious. More intimate and less known about restaurants. It's taking all of my willpower not to go into Uniqlo, but if you do go into this store on Regent Street, is it Regent? No, Oxford Street, then they do free alterations if you buy then and there. So that you can like get your trousers taken up to your length. That's one of my favorite things to do. I've got some of my favorite ever trousers from Uniqlo and had them taken up immediately. It's popping off. Yeah, yeah, you sent me there, you sent me there. So here is Bond Street Station and I'm going to look for G's Court. I should also say I've ordered a microphone so the next video like this I'll be mic'd up and you'll be able to hear me properly because London is loud. There's a lot of scaffolding up at the moment so I overshot <laughs> but this is where you need to go down. <laughs> Yeah, like I completely missed that because I didn't realise it was in, in the scaffolding. So yeah, down G's Court now and I can see my shop. This road is so cute. There's Mulberry, there's a Loxitan Rituals and there's loads of festoon lighting. And here is where I want to go, cup and lid. I am so excited for this. Can I have the tiramisu, please? Um, popped or iced? What is better? So this ice is more refreshing, so a bit lighter. Yeah. The hot one's a bit more rich, so it could be a bit sweeter. I might go for the hot one. Yeah, mm -hmm. just more or less. Uh, large. Yeah. yeah. Do you do that with oat milk? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we still so content on the day. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Here she is. I feel like I also need to try the iced one at some point, but that looks so dirty. I love it. Okay, I found a little seat on a deck chair in St. Christopher's Court, which is so, so, so cute. I'll show you that in a minute, but first we need to try this. Do I can put you there. That is mad. It's literally like thick mascarpone cream and chocolate on top of a coffee. It's a lot sweeter and a lot more rich than I was expecting it to be. And it doesn't have a lady finger, but I'm still going to sit here and enjoy this. Just look. Look at that. Oh my god, the cream is so thick. I need to make sure I don't spill this. <laughs> mm. So this is St. Christopher's Place and as you can see it is bustling. They've got like deck chairs out and loads of restaurants and loads of little like alleyways full of restaurants. So we can let's let's take a walk down that way. Days like this where you just fall in love with London and you feel like you're on holiday. So lovely. So, this coffee is definitely like a treat, not an everyday kind of drink, but I definitely want to try it again in the iced version. Next time I'm in the area. There's um, an Astrid and Miu here, which is a jewellery shop. I've always wanted one of their pieces of jewellery. They do the welded bracelets in here as well, like this one. So it doesn't have a clasp, it's just like a permanent piece of jewellery. 
those hoops are so nice, love those. Let's continue on down here. I was going to go into Selfridges in this video and show you around the food hall and maybe pick up some food, but I've actually decided to go a different direction. So if you do want to see that, stay tuned. I'm planning to go to some like fancy um, shops in London and like buy some food and try it out for you guys so you can see if it's worth the money or not. I definitely want to do Whole Foods, I want to do Selfridges, I want to do Harrods and like I'll probably explore the area as well for you guys. I want to give you more like London content. So this is like a way of doing that and it's nice to be able to share it with you. Um, I've just got a little wine bar here, which I haven't been to, but it looks super cute. It's called Angelique's Wine House. And just sitting out in the street, drinking the wine, people watching just sounds so perfect to me right now. Okay, Olenstein have one of my favorite pastries, so let me show you that. Oh wow, look at the floral decoration here. That looks so nice. And then Hoppers, G and I went to this restaurant for our three year anniversary. Really delicious Indian food. A guy that came very close to winning MasterChef Professionals like used to work in Hoppers, so I really recommend visiting. Let me see if I can find their menu. Oh, they only have their drinks menu on the door, but I do recommend this place. Okay, we are heading down Mandeville Place. This road is so nice. Look at these houses. Imagine living here. This road feels a lot quieter than the main street, which is nice. Right, I'm gonna say goodbye to my coffee. It's more like a hot chocolate than a coffee, actually. I think it had melted chocolate in. But yeah, I wasn't getting much coffee vibe. Let's continue walking down here because there's a really cute road further ahead with one of my favorite restaurants on it that I wanted to show you. Ooh, there's a buns from home there. They do a tiramisu bun. <laughs> can rely on me for the tiramisu content in London and um, I have tried that bun it was a bit dry I probably wouldn't recommend it I have a better recommendation Covent Garden that I can show you at some point if you're after a tiramisu tasting pastry oh my god this wow Japanese pastry place I thought this was shut it says on Google it's permanently closed I just want to have a look at all their food because look at this it looks so good. Matcha bun. I might see if I can have a little peek. Hi. What's your best selling pastry? Melon. Nice. Can I get one of those please? Thank you. I felt bad for filming in there so I bought something. <laughs> I asked what their best-selling sweet bun was and she's given me a melon bun. I'll try that in a bit. I'll find somewhere to set, settle down and try that. Aesop hand balms outside a shop. Should I try one? It's all the same. Clove bud. Mm, that smells really good. I was literally just thinking to myself, I wonder if there are any charity shops around this area because I'd love to go in and see the prices. And I've just spotted a cancer research. Let's go in and see what kind of stuff they've got in the cancer research in, what area of London is this? I guess it's like Marylebone. Oh yeah, I'm on Marylebone High Street. Let's have a look. Okay, so I didn't want to record my voice in here because it was quite quiet, but I wanted to show you some of the bits. So they had, as you can guess, quite a lot of designer stuff. A Zadig and Voldaire jumper for £70. These really cute leopard print shorts, which I think were only about a tenner. And then, yeah, just loads of really cool designer pieces. One thing I did find a bit shocking was that they were selling secondhand Zara for nine pound plus which is kind of spenny considering it's high street fashion the shoes they had in there were amazing i found these gucci flats how beautiful if these would have fit me i would have thought about it but 160 pounds and then we found the real goods the chanel shoes i did try these on 200 quid is that a bargain or not let me know in the comments did you see some of those prices like 
£200 for a pair of very worn down Chanel flats which I did try on and were too small for me and um, I've just spotted an Oxfam here as well I'm gonna pop in but I can't let myself get swept away because this is not the purpose of the video <laughs> I'm just like I love charity shops and um, so I need to do some more dedicated charity shop videos don't I the prices in this Oxfam were a lot more affordable, but the things that they had weren't as good. There was also a really funky smell in this shop, but they did have a great book selection. I was tempted by this, and they also had a pair of Dolce & Gabbana heels, which I thought was so pretty. Okay, I wanted to pop into Bailey and Sage because it looks so cute, like a very cute farmer's market organic grocery store. Oh my god, look. <gasps> what? Oh no, I need one of these. What? <gasps> Rum one. <gasps> There's a Biscoff one. What? Oh my god. So they've got some salads for £8. Chicken bulgur wheat. Wow, this store is so beautiful everywhere you turn. Look at this. Wow, this is the dream to shop in. And the displays are so beautiful as well. Smoked mackerel, £4.50. That's about the same as you'd get in Tesco. Although I guess in Tesco you'd be getting a lot more fillets rather than just two for that price. I'm wondering if they've got any tinned fish here because I feel like it's the kind of place that sells some great tinned fish. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Chicken scallops. How much is that? £12.75. I think I am going to go back there and pick up a tiramisu to eat when I get home, but I don't want to carry it around in the heat. So I'm going to finish my tour and then go and grab one. Okay, next I wanted to show you this bookstore, Daunt Books, because it is so beautiful. Such a nice, like, oldie worldy antique -y bookstore with loads of books I haven't seen before. This particular area of London, I think, is just so cute. It's just got some character to it. I absolutely love that bookshop. It is so beautiful, and they've got so many books in there, something for everyone. Got like little wooden chairs out, so you could probably just like pick a book up and have a flick through and like spend hours in there, but so gorgeous. My camera battery is flashing, and the spare battery that I thought was charged is not. So I think I'm gonna have to end this vlog here guys. I'm gonna quickly go and pick up that tiramisu and then I can try it at home with you guys a bit later when I'm back home with a, a charged battery and I'll also try the melon bun I had as, got as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see you at home in a bit to try some goodies. I'm gutted my battery is dying because I wanted to pop into Space NK and show you some of my favourite products in there but I don't think my battery is going to last so let me know if you would like to see that in another vlog. Okay, Taka is one of my favourite restaurants in London ever, 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 ever. You have to go there. I got the tiramisu goods. Let's head home. Oh, here is the L'Entrecourt Paris replica for steak and chips. The only thing on the menu is steak and chips. 
you just get given what you're given. I went to the one in Paris and it was actually really good. <laughs> Although we did have to queue for like an hour and a half. Hey guys, I am home after my lovely day out in central London today. I have some snacks to try and fully charged camera battery which is fantastic. So first up we have a melon pan from WA Cafe and Patisserie. So she said this was the most popular sweet cake, sweet bun. I've never tried anything like this before. I have no idea what to expect. I think I'm guessing there'll be something in the middle. Ooh, ooh. Like a donut. That smells nice. It's got kind of sugar on top. Can you see that? Right, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. There's nothing in the middle. It's just a fluffy, sweet bun. A bit like a donut without the sugar coating. This will go really well with that. It just smells of bread. That's got no melon in it. It's very nice. It says, if I'd read this correctly, cookie dough bread. This is cookie dough bread. That's nice. I would get that again. And actually, probably I'll try something different from that store because I had loads of delicious looking pastries in. Um, and now it's time for the tiramisu. My two tiramisus from that greengrocer's kind of organic shop. I picked up a pistachio one. I've never tried a pistachio tiramisu before. And also a normal, like classic one, but with rum. They also had alcohol-free versions in there, but I'm gonna try these two. Pistachio first. Mmm. Very wet, but very nice. The little crunchy pistachios on the top are divine. Substitute the coffee for some pistachio crumb and pistachio kind of paste in with the mascarpone. You got yourself a very nice pistachio to receive there. Let's try the rum. I'm really looking forward to this one. Again, quite wet. Whoa, that is boozy. Mm. That might be the booziest tiramisu I've ever had. Really? Boozy is the whole thing, mate. Mm hmm. Whoa, way more. <laughs> that is the booziest tiramisu I've ever tried in my life. I'd be interested to know what the normal one tastes like there because I'm not getting much coffee, I'm just getting rum. Which I'm not complaining about because it's delicious. £4.50. They also had massive sizes. So if you're hosting a dinner party, you could get a big one to share, but I think this is more than enough for two because it is quite sweet. I'm very happy with my purchases. I have had a, just a great day tasting all the tiramisu joys that London has to offer and there are so many more. So in my le next London video, I will show you some more and we'll do a little walk around a different area of London. Let me know if you want me to explore any particular area, if there's any stores that you want me to try out, um, restaurants, cafes, I dishes on menus, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.